It is currently 7.02 and I just finished getting my report from my nighttime CNA and she just gave me a little rundown of all my patients. If you're new here, my name is Kayla. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to be a part of the family. I am a CNA. I work 12 hour shifts and I am vlogging for all of you guys. So, today I have nine patients, you guys. Um, basically all the patients that I had yesterday. However, I did get two new admits. So, um, those are going to be new patients I'm going to be learning more about. I have one, two, three, three contact patients, two COVID patients, and then I have one patient who needs a sitter because she pours her IV, she speaks a different language, and she has dementia. So today's gonna be a good day. Yesterday was a really, really busy, busy day. Yesterday I worked really, really hard and it was a lot on me. However, I did not switch my patients over just because I just already know some of them and I didn't feel like getting to know new patients and they could also be a lot worse. So, I'm about to get started, y'all. I need to go ahead and go grab my N95 mask and everything. I'm gonna take on the floor of my vitals and get started. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get this day started at eight. All right, guys, I just finished doing our first round of vitals. It's currently 8.02. Um, we do have a care associate here today that is helping me with my patient. So she has three of my patients, and she goes around and does their vitals and their sugars for me throughout the entire day. Um, so that really t means I only, have seven, I only have six patients to get vitals for. Um, one of my patients went off the floor. She had a CAT scan this morning, so I didn't get to get her vitals, which I'll get when she comes back. This mask is so tight. I forget to change that mask out when I um, am not in the COVID room, so I'm just actually leaving it on. Um, so now I'm just charting for some my, So now I'm just charting for my patients, y'all. Um, this is the cart. This is the card and it basically shows you it basically shows you all your patients vital signs here it shows you like their numbers their blood pressures their temperatures and their heart rate um, so in case you forget to like chart it on your work phone you can always go back and look at the time and see um, however sometimes the time is just off so you just want to make sure it's the correct time and if you ever forget which blood pressure is for a patient just look and see the previous patient that you did and then just always go after that um, <clears throat> so now I'm just charting and then I'm about to go wake up one of my patients and see if he wants to eat his breakfast he is um, elderly he has dementia and he has COVID. I didn't wake him up when I was doing his blood pressure to eat breakfast because he was still obviously asleep. So I'm gonna give him a little minute, probably about 20, 30 minutes to see if he wants to eat. And then I'm gonna go eat breakfast downstairs myself. So let's chart y'all. Right, guys I'm currently going to go grab some breakfast so let's go see what they have all right y'all so mainly I usually get the breakfast sandwich on toast with bacon and eggs then I usually put cheddar cheese on it breakfast potatoes so 
right, y'all. So what I got is breakfast sandwich, potatoes, and then I got eggs on my breakfast sandwich with bacon, and I got yogurt. Just because I need something healthy on top of my sandwich. Um, but once I go back upstairs, I'm gonna eat breakfast talk to some of my co-workers and then I will go check on my patients again. Probably not all of them, but the ones I know that need to be checked on. I'll go check on them. Um, before I came down, I went to empty one of, one of the patient's Foley bags. It was really full. Last night shift didn't do it. Um, she was really, really busy, so I didn't mind. And she always take care of like the trash and everything that needs to be done prior to me getting there so it's not a big issue at all um went and changed the pillowcases and got new blankets for my patients um and that's about it y'all one of our patients he's not even my patient but he's another cna patient is calling screaming out help um, but I just really want the patients to understand that we're trying our best most of us are trying our best to get there and we don't have one patient we have nine patients okay so just give us a little bit more time and grace but y'all it's raining today look look how rainy it is today but it's really pretty can tell it is my lunch time it's currently it's currently 201 you guys and I am just now taking my lunch break you guys so a couple updates I did my vitals for 11 o'clock right after 11 o'clock I had to change my patient two of my patients one of them he used the bathroom he's incontinent he has dementia and he's confused, so I had to change him. The nurse helped me do this. So we changed him, got it cleaned up. His wife was in the room. And then after that, we went next door, which is the patient next door. We got him, we thought he used the bathroom. He didn't use the bathroom, so thankfully we didn't have to clean him up. But as soon as we put his tray across his bed, as soon as we put his tray across his bed so that he could eat, he called us and said he pooped. So. We had to change him, clean him up, but this man has a C. diff, so he is constantly having diarrhea poop. And it's not like a diarrhea, it's like a jelly type of diarrhea, you guys. Like if you see C. diff, you'll definitely know that it is C. diff and when a patient has it. So he's constantly getting cleaned up, like constantly, you guys. Like we're constantly having to clean him up, but nonetheless, he can't help it. So. We get him cleaned up and he's a really awesome patient. Like me and him always laugh, like we're always laughing. But you know, like I said, having this job, sometimes it can be a bit stressful because it's healthcare and it's nursing. So I just would give you guys advice, just to let you guys know that it's gonna get stressful at times, but just always try to be positive. I'm not gonna say you'll 100% be positive all the time because sometimes I, Sometimes I'm not 100% positive all the time. Like it's healthcare, it's going to get stressful sometimes, but you guys can do it. So I'm out taking my lunch break in my car. You guys, I'm not eating for the first lunch because I'm actually a little bit still full. Well, I'm comfortable, I'm not full from my breakfast that I ate earlier. So I'm about to chill in my car. I'm honestly about to try to catch a quick nap before I have to go back inside and I will keep giving you guys an update one of my patients did discharge today you guys um but yeah I'm gonna chill in my car for a little bit and then I will check in with you guys later once I get back on the floor we do have vitals starting at 3 but I don't start mine till about 3 30 because I want to do it closer to when lunch comes so I can get my patients who have sugars and um get their vitals around that time but nonetheless today is going good i'm really really tired and i just want to take a quick nap so i'm gonna probably check in with you guys later bye bye all right you guys so i'm 
off my lunch and I'm about to go back inside and finish this day off you guys I had to put my work glasses on because I just remembered I got some as I see my sister wearing hers on FaceTime but y'all the trees are literally blooming and I am super super it's coming back and it been springtime so lunch was good I didn't do a whole lot of a whole lot, like I said, I just took a nap on my lunch break, but these are the cutest glasses. It's really windy out here today, y'all. Look at the wind. It's really windy. We're about to get in a couple more hours left. You guys know I'm about to start my 3 o'clock, 3.30 finals soon. And then, that's it. This is This is so yeah, let's go back inside. Let's get to work. Let's finish strong. Hi guys. Hi guys. It's currently 524. I'm eating some chicken tenders and some potato wedges. I had to go take a break for my patients, you guys. It literally has been a day. Um, as you can see, half the lights are off in here. But anyway, um, I did get about I did get two new at Miss. One I went to go do vitals on, the other one I have not yet gotten to her. Um, bless this food in your precious name, allow it to nourish me, take out the impurities, bless the man who had prepared it, bless him in his mind, body, and spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I did go and do vitals on one of my patients, the other ones I have not gotten to. I had to come eat, y'all. I'm hungry. I'm getting a headache because I have not eaten, so... Hi guys, so it's currently 7.08. I am about to leave. Today was an amazing day, but it was rough. I really do want you guys to know that I do like my job as a CNA, but however, like I said, being in healthcare and working in nursing, it can get stressful sometimes. So don't always look for your day to be perfect. Don't get upset when you get frustrated because it's healthcare. Like you're running back and forth, you're changing, you're doing majority of that all single day. So you're going to be a little stressed out, but keep pushing. Try to stay as positive as you can. One of the things that I like to do is fake it till I make it. So even if I'm in a grumpy mood, sometimes I try to like overtake like faking it. Like I'm not in a grumpy mood just so that I can shift my mindset. Um, just so I can shift my mindset. But yeah, today was a good day. I'm about to head home, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below where you are in your nursing career and what type of nurse you are going to be. I love you guys so much. Bye. Mwah. And you, I'm glad that I can be myself.